because when you see the super kick happen, Natsupoi's facial expressions are bar none. She's displaying such pain and anguish on her face for the choice she just made, but yet, it's almost like you can't see any signs of regret on her face. Like I mentioned, her faction members look on with a variety of expressions, anger, confusion, hurt, unease. Tom herself is wearing a, genu- is wearing a genuine face of shock. And as I mentioned, the post-match promo, it's the part I love the most. Because unlike other promotions that, you know, when a turn happens, when the heel turn happens, when someone betrays another person and they have to, and they wait till next week's show for that person to, you know, cut a promo and talk about why they did it. Stardom here didn't wait to have, didn't wait for the following shows for the faction members to speak their mind, for Poi to explain why she did it. Instead, after the match is concluded, they all get in the ring. With both factions standing across from each other and Natsupoi in the middle. And they all just grab a mic or they grab the mic one by one and continue to just speak. Specifically, each Donna Del Mundo faction member speaking a different message to Poi. The first to step up, obviously, is the leader. Julia comes off with a more condescending tone. As to be expected from a leader who just got super kicked by their subordinate. Again, condescendingly, she tells Poi that she was a cute pet. But she will see what happens from this point on. As she storms away angrily. Next is Himeka. And she, come, and she is coming from a place of hurt and genuine confusion. She says unlike others... Natsupoi was kind, and that's what she loved and respected about her. She never once viewed Natsupoi as a pet or a mascot. But at the end, Himeka shifts moods as she gets in Poi's face and simply tells her, I won't forgive you for betraying us. And she walks away, essentially giving Natsupoi the death stare. Now, Himeka is much taller than Natsupoi, so you can see a little bit of fear in Natsupoi's eyes, likely thinking of how she'll likely have to face her one day. Poi thinks this is the end, and so she tells them bye, but Micah is the next to grab the mic. And she definitely has anger in her voice. She's definitely the one that's most angry about this defection. And while I haven't found much translation for her part, it's clear she feels betrayed. And the, the little detail I forgot to mention... <clears throat> Is that each member keeps sort of pausing during their speeches. Kind of showing that they're struggling to finish whatever they're saying. That their emotions are getting through to them. Many times bringing them to near tears. And that comes into play with the final member. Tekla. Tekla is an Austrian wrestler brought into Donner del Mundo by Julia at the start of the year. And she's, as you can tell... Beans brought in at the start of the year. She's the member who's known Natsupoi for the least amount of time. But yet, she's clearly the one most devastated by the defection. Tekla doesn't even stand up to face with Poi. She's crouched just simply staring at her. But then, she slowly gets up and makes her way to her. Before she even has a mic in hand, you can tell she's holding back tears with a face that just screams, Why? Why out of everyone did it have to be you? Why are you doing this? A face of desperation, wishing for it all to be a ploy. And then, she doesn't even say a word. She's simply distraught and backs up with the body language that simply reads as, Fine, be that way. Her faction members pull her back and support her, as you can see her knees slightly starting to buckle at this point. They all exit the ring. As Tekla gives a simple peace sign to Natsupoi, who stands there with an empty stare. As Donna Del Mundo leaves to the back, many of the members only give slight glances back, but all share the same one of two looks. Either a look of distraught, or a look of anger, with nothing but vengeance on their mind. And it is here, that it all just becomes too much. Poi is crouched in the middle of the ring, hand over her hand, and then wiping tears from her eyes. And it is at this point 
that Tam extends her hand out to her, but Natsupoi just sits there, trying her best to hold back tears. So, Tom simply sits next to her, hugs her, and reassures her that things will be alright. Together, they will revolutionize stardom. <laughs>